Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. In this video, I would love to share with you results <laughs> which I got from um, my um, white buds uh, and buds with uh, different fibers um, for hand dyeing. I have a video on my channel. I put a link in the description about um, how you can uh, jump card different fibers and after that you use that bud for hand on. <laughs> so I had three buds after that video and um, as I mentioned in that video as well you can actually spin your bud into yarn and dye it as a yarn and because you got different fibers you can see you will get slightly variation of color in your yarn two other buds i divided um, slightly different way so one just when <laughs> as i thought in half but you see one is bigger than another but it doesn't matter so if you can handle big butt you always can divide it in the smaller pieces or if you want to do different colors yeah it's easy to do Sec, uh, but was divided in a zigzag way to create long rowing so there's one and there's a, another piece of rowing see so you can see you can choose the shape of your uh, butt in a way what is easy for you to handle or technique which you're going to use to dye it we use um, oxid dye and uh, as i mentioned before yarn was uh, simmered in a pot uh, but fibers uh, were uh, dyed in a pot in a microwave. I got some footage which I'm gonna put in this video. You can see uh, how I spread the colors. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today with my dear friend, Rin, <laughs> we're gonna um, have a little experiment with my um, buds and uh, yarn spun for dyeing and uh, at the, in the moment we already have our dye in a pot and my yarn is going in let's see what's going to happen um, the second uh, type of dyeing we're going to use um, this plastic Tupperware and we're gonna try to use a spacing dyeing and uh, before I soaked my wool into uh, vinegary uh, water overnight I separated in a, like a long rowing so we put it into like a little snail shape in here and um, Eileen gonna add oxid, oxid dye mold oh dear that's not a big deal okay <laughs> right just a few minutes and i'll show you what it looks like and we got some magenta here i don't know if you want to do any of this no you do it <laughs> you know what you do it i'm not really on <laughs> This could take a while because I don't have a turkey baster. I need a turkey baster, really. But we're going to, Squeak. with this lovely turquoise. I might have to do some pouring at some point. And we've got this lovely, lovely magenta. 
so you get some nice pink but then also when the magenta and the turquoise mix together you get a beautiful purple yay yeah <laughs> okay <clears throat> so this could take days at this stage do not thing about this type of dyeing on a low immersion in the microwave is you want to get everything covered in dye you can see the colors blending yes um, and you want to make sure that everything is colored underneath. through underneath. Mm -hmm. So this is why I might have to do some pouring. And I'll do some on the sides. And lift it up. And then I'll do the same with the pink. You don't really want any white bits. Mm -hmm. like that Put some in there. and it goes in, in the microwave for two minutes um, a few yeah. times yeah so at the moment I took a half of um, my second butt which is uh, this some gray natural fibers and um, we're gonna put it in this container for another bunch uh, to dye it in the microwave. Yeah. yeah. So we're using now a uh, pink what? Magenta and a pink purple. Yes. So I put my buds in an S shape. So each end is gonna be slightly separated from the middle, and hopefully we're gonna have a two colors on each end and uh, some mixture of colors in the middle right um i put a bit of blue on the end and the crazy one crazy. Well. <laughs> that just example if you mix colors um uh, not very sensibly but um let's see what's gonna happen so when i divided one butt into robin and uh, left one just in half I personally didn't know what to expect to be honest with you I didn't expect anything for me it was just fun and I enjoyed the process but what I can mention for you at the moment that if you're using rowing or top the thickness of each piece relatively small and uh, what you see on the surface, that's pretty much what is inside. And still, different fibers take dye differently. However, when you do your butt, which is in like a whole thing, um, what you see on the surface, it's not necessarily the whole story. If you open layers and look inside you can see you might get incredible pieces again depends on the mixture of the fibers you put into your butt so for me it was great fun and I'm very grateful to my friend uh, who helped me <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, I hope you learned something interesting for you or something interesting to try. So thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye.